Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sopnewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. In this video, we're going to check out the new updates inside of LumaFusion. And to kind of celebrate them and kick them off, I'm going to throw you a free title pack. Mm -hmm. Link is going to be down in the description for my Google Drive. But let's waste no time. Let's jump into the iPad to check them out. And welcome to LumaFusion 3.0.1. Something that is very exciting is that you're able to manipulate this interface so it will be any kind of size that you want. Now we've always been able to do that, like change up the layout with this icon down here. We could manipulate it like that. However, now that we have this little, little upside down like gray T right in the corner there, if you press and hold that, you're able to change it up this way. You could change the layout so that you're able to see all six layers of your video and many, many layers of your audio, and you can squash 12 layers of audio into this. Moving on to the next thing is going to be image stabilization. So what I'm going to do is stabilize this video. It's very unstable. So I'm going to duplicate this layer so that we have a nice before and after that we can look at. To get to the stabilizer, we'll just double tap on the layer we want to work with. And the stabilizer icon is going to be right in the middle. It's going to look like a screen that's shaking, which is fitting. Now to turn on the stabilization where it says lock and load stabilization by Cormel, you would just tap that and it automatically is going to analyze your video and put that stabilization on there. And here you're going to notice that they have presets. So there's light, medium, and strong. Initially, they're going to just put that preset of medium on your video, but let's say you're not happy with it, you want it to be a little stronger, you could either hit the preset or you could just toggle it up to be a little stronger. But you'll notice the stronger that it is, how this image zooms in. That's because it's using the, um, the, the margins of your video and sort of stabilizing the middle so it's cutting out some of your video. And you may notice we have a couple of other presets here. It says light shutter, medium shutter, strong shutter. That's when your video image has rolling shutter. That's when you're, you, you're moving your camera too fast while you're doing video and it has like, um, you know, that warpy, wobbly look if you're panning it too fast. That's going to help correct that. But rolling shutter is a very difficult thing to correct. Your best bet is to try to get it right in camera the first go around and use your post editing as a last resort. And we also have some advanced things that we can dive into in a later video. Now I just want to touch on the the main updates here. Now let's have a look at the before and after video with the stabilization applied on the left hand side of the screen and unstabilized on the right hand side of the screen. So you can see what a huge huge difference it made. Now let's check out one of these audio settings. So I'll just double tap the video. And to get to the audio settings, you would just hit the icon that looks like a speaker, which makes total sense. And right off the bat, you can see it just looks so much more professional. And they have an in-depth graphic equalizer that you can use. Let me just tap that. And I'll get to the graphic equalizer in another video down the road. For now, I wanted to show you a huge huge update. Now this little icon that's on the top here that looks like an electrical plug, that's to allow third party plugins. So we'll hit that. And it says you can apply third party plugins. So if you want to bring in your plugins, all you need to do is hit that plug with the plus symbol there. And it's going to analyze your device to see what apps you already have that can work within LumaFusion. To bring them over into LumaFusion, you would just tap and hold and then bring it over here, grab it and hold it, bring it over here, grab it and hold it and bring it over here. And that is going to bring them into LumaFusion. I really do have a terribly sibilant voice because I have a chip in my tooth. So all of my S's and my T's and everything just has a very hissy sound to it. This de is going to clean all of that up. But once again, that's something that um, I'm going to show you in a later video. I really do have a terribly sibilant voice because I have a chip in my tooth. So all of my S's and my T's and everything just has a very hissy sound to it. I really do have a terribly sibilant voice because I have a chip in my tooth. So all of my S's and my T's and everything just has a very hissy sound to it. Now let's go over to frame and fit. 
and you're going to notice some new presets in frame and fit. So pan left, zoom out, pan, like all of these are new, making it very easy. So let's say you wanted to demo a LUT package and you know how they have the, the beautiful LUT just kind of gliding over the old one. You don't need to do anything to get that to happen. You would just tap pan right or pan left, whichever way you want it to come in from. And it's automatically going to apply that panning effect in your video. So that's super cool. You'll also notice the addition of a pencil and that's like all over the place. It's not just in frame and fit, it's in uh, color and effects. I mean, it's everywhere, this little pencil. And what this is going to allow you to do, instead of you know dialing something in where you think it looks okay, if you have a specific value you want it to input, you can do that now. Now this is the title pack as I've created it. When you download this link from my Google Drive, it's going to pop up as a LumaFusion project in your LumaFusion. If you want it, you know, you check out the title, okay, which one do I want to use? Which one looks cool? Which one looks good? You want to bring that into an existing project because adding titles, it's wonderful. It adds that extra little bit of production value that makes your videos just look more clean, professional, and polished. Now to get this title onto another project, you would just hit the box with the check mark and highlight each one of those. Go to the clipboard and hit copy. Go back to the existing video that you're working on. Make sure nothing else is highlighted in your video. Go to the clipboard and hit paste. And that is going to drop that title onto your new project. The way that I built these titles, I built it a few layers above the main timeline and I also left a blank layer down here just in case you have B-roll on top of your, your main timeline. You know, this way it doesn't cut into your main timeline, it's just very easy to apply them. Now how you would edit these, it's very easy. You can see which line you're dealing with. This is the your line, so you would just double tap that, tap on your go to the paper and pencil and type in what it is that you want. Now this is a short word, but let's say you had a longer word, you might have to make it a little smaller. And if you do make it a little smaller, you might have to move it over on the X factor a little bit. Now let's do the next line. I made the title thing smaller just so that you can see it, but I'm going to make it large again. Then you come out to your main timeline and you can see that it still needs to be moved over a little bit on the X some more. That looks like it'll be good. Yep, perfect. Now I'm back to the original title pack that I'm giving you. Now I did try to build everything at least two layers above that timeline so that you have room for your video or for B-roll. The only time I don't have that applied is when that title takes up all the layers, like this one. I needed all five layers to get that to work, and this one. Now let's grab this one. Make sure nothing else is highlighted and that you're exactly on the timeline where you want that title to be applied. You hit the clipboard and paste again. Now let's say you like this title, but you're not happy with the pink box and the pink text. You can change the color of that by, let's just double tap the box. You go into the shape and face color here is where you could change the color of it. Of course, you can use the spectrum. You can use the sliders to really tweak in the color or you could just use the grid. Let's change it to that DD yellow, and then you'll want to change the font as well. And you can change the color of any of the shapes that are in there. And that is how you apply the free title pack. Listen, these are exciting times for us. I can't wait to get the third party plugin for the audio. I can't wait to get in my new external hard drive that works with LumaFusion. You know, to be honest with you, it just felt good to do another LumaFusion tutorial because it's been so long. I have stacks of gear here that people sent me that I need to review. You know, I remember early on when I started my channel, I'm like, when are people gonna start sending me stuff for free to review? But don't get me wrong, this is not a complaint. I'm very grateful for everything that I get. I feel blessed by God that this is all happening for me. 
It's very exciting. You know, I'm working like 60 hours a week at my company. It's very difficult to come home and settle in and do YouTube stuff. So please just be patient with me. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, please wear your sunblock and call your mom and dad just to say how much you love them.